Hey, entrepreneurs, if you've ever read the book by Jeff Colvin called Talent is Overrated, you may have noticed the data that he pulled showing that, generally speaking, employees stop improving after the first year. People, for the most part, get to a place where they're coasting. As soon as they can coast in their job, they've, they've developed rapidly during that first six months to a year in their skills, their abilities to get things done. But once they get there, they tend to coast. They don't keep improving their skills. Even 10, 15 years later into a job, you'll see that someone's no better at doing their work than they were the first year. Now, you might be thinking about your team right now as an entrepreneur, but today's challenge is actually about you. Of course, it's natural that as an entrepreneur, you're thinking, no, you don't understand. Dr. Schneider, I am extremely driven. Like this is not something that applies to me. I'm always trying to get better at everything. But hear me out, this may not be quite the, the situation that you think it is, because here's something interesting that we know. Generally speaking, the most reliable way to increase your profits is to do more of the same, to expand on what's already working. But because as humans, we naturally seek out those flow states where we're feeling challenged and we're so absorbed in our work that time seems to fly by. You just feel this effortless sense of oneness with the task and you're so absorbed in it that you get a lot done as an entrepreneur probably early on you had a lot of that experience and that's partly why sometimes people come and hire me to work with them is that they've lost that experience we're actually trying to engage the flow state again so that they can achieve the same level of productivity they used to in the past here's the trick with that is that once you get good at something some business process that's making you money often you'll start seeking something new not because it's more profitable or more likely to, to expand or allow you to scale your business profits, but rather because you're actually seeking that flow state, which in, intrinsically is not a bad thing. It's good to seek flow states. It does help you to become more pr productive. We just don't want that to happen at the cost of doing what's going to make you succeed when it comes to the financial side of your business. And so there's this, this weird little quirk that happens mostly within entrepreneurship where we end up sabotaging ourselves in pursuit of the flow state. Why? Because flow state requires a little bit of difficulty. It requires challenge. So anything that becomes easy for you stops giving you the challenge. And so it's hard to get sucked into it. It starts feeling mundane, like a task, like a chore that requires a lot of self-discipline and motivation to, to overcome it because it's mundane. It doesn't just suck you in. It just feels too easy. Now you might be thinking, but it's boring. I don't want to do that. Todd, don't make me go back to doing the boring stuff. That doesn't, that doesn't sound exciting to me. That's not why, why I became an entrepreneur. That's not what I signed up for. Well, here's my challenge for you. Make it not boring. There are ways to evoke the flow state in things that you've gotten to a point where you're just coasting with that skill set. Whatever that process or routine is, you can bring back the flow state. Some of the ways to do that are to set clear time-limited uh, challenges for yourself. Like I'm going to try to ramp up that's this production by this point where I'm going to try to onboard better team members and we're going to split test people and it's going to be a little bit stressful at first, but we're going to pull it off in three weeks. We're going to see whether we can bring in people who have the talent to up level what we're accomplishing. It might mean that you identify ways that you're coasting and ways that you could level up yourself in whatever role you play and say, instead of just being one of those people who gets to be sufficient to be able to do their job. What if I was to try to become world class? What would that take? And set some goals for yourself with that. And what happens is because with flow state, one of the best things that you can do to trigger a flow state is to have very clear goals that you're working on. Like I want to accomplish this small piece in the next hour. So instead of I'm going to write this chapter of a book, you want to say, I'm going to in the next 15 minutes, write 10 amazing chapter titles. And then I'm going to write a first paragraph two times and I'm going to choose which one is best. That's my goal. I have 15 minutes, go. That's the kind of very clear goal that starts to bring out a challenge again. So here's your challenge this week. I, I want you to identify ways that you might be coasting and then see if you can identify just a few ways that you could engage the flow state again by challenging yourself to level up. Talk to you soon.